Hey guys, uh, it's me, Eagle, on Falcon Eyes right now. This is my Druid, and just so you guys know, I actually have my Resto Druid here. Uh, 21 points spent in my Resto Tree, but I also have um, 18 points spent inside the Balloon. Still need an Arcane Artifact Relic on that. Haven't been able to find one yet. And I also have the Claws of Ursoc, which I've spent 15 points in. So this Druid has three different specs. And to add a little more complexity to it, uh, in the Resto spec, there's two different uh, potential uh, stat priorities that I would have to deal with. And so what we're dealing with here, what we're looking at here, is a whole bunch of different stat priorities that um, make it very difficult to know whether or not something is a upgrade or not. So to combat this we have a uh, thing called stat weight score see this right here stat weight score version 7.5 is 0 it's enabled you get the stat weight stats from the item tooltip right and uh, I'm actually gonna make it uh, gem level 150 gems right you force the selected gem stat uh, with this with a uh, proper stat value um, I'm not going to suggest the Saber's Eye because it's a unique equipped, and I, I can decide where that's going to go. And so this is all display options. You click the little plus sign here, and you can see we have profiles and stat weights. I'm going to show you today how to use stat weight score to give you a really good rough idea of when something is an upgrade and when it isn't. And what it starts off with here is you create these stat weight specs, right? Right now I only have the one. And I have these numbers that seem relatively random. Like, why would you put these numbers in there? So I'm actually going to delete this spec, all right? And we're going to start from scratch. But you might wonder, where do I get these numbers from? Well, the numbers all come from something like this, a pawn string. And see, I'm in Discord here. Uh, and I'm, I'm actually, here's our server. And I'm in a couple others. Here's Proudmore US, True Shot Lodge, which is a hunter one. You got Hammer of Wrath, and you got the Dream Grove. This one here is a Druid Discord information server and discussion server. And in their resources thing, they have all sorts of different things. And they have these pawn strings. Now, pawn is another add-on, just like stat weight score. <clears throat> you can see, like, if you take everything from the parentheses, in between the parentheses, it gives you these values of intellect is 1, versatility is 0.8, Haste is 0.8, Mastery is 0.6, Crit is 0.8, Stamina is 0.01. I don't even know why they have Stamina in there. Um, mainly, probably because of, you know, Stamina is important for Ysara's Gift. Uh, so, they're rating all of these different things. Now, I don't agree with these stat weights pretty much at all. They're too flat. You know, Haste equal to Crit, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. So, what you can do is you can, uh, you know, do a uh, another search um, or you can you know go here so, like this is icy veins for a resto druid you have intellect first then haste then crit then mastery then versatility and see the the raid healing pawn string from the uh, the discord one is kind of weird um, it you know has versatility rated the same as haste so you know that's obviously not a good one um, so what we can do is, uh, Resto Druid Pawn String, right? And you can find, like, okay, there's Noxic. I don't trust Noxic. Uh, Stat Priority Pawn String. There we go, MMO Champion. That's usually a good place to go. Uh, to do, 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 do. And you can just look for one that kind of makes sense to you. I like, f for, um, in general... I like haste than crit. Uh, but the reason there's two different ones is like in a raid, you spread your hots more evenly across the raid. It's like shallow but broad. And in a five man, you're going to be stacking hots on top of each other, making more use of your mastery. So mastery is more important than crit at that point. So that's the nice thing about this. You set up these profiles, right? And you can see here, haste rating is 0.675. Crit is just under that. And this is for the raid healing, right? Mastery is 0.5, versatility 0.55, and we can tweak these as we as we see fit. For dungeons, you got crit, and here mastery is a little bit more valuable, 0.75. Um, 
I disagree with that as well. Uh, but, you know, let's just use these, okay, as a as an example. So we just select all of the stuff from between the parentheses, copy, and we go back into, um, into WoW here. We create a new spec. We call it uh, Resto Raid, right? And then you can import from Pawn String. You could also use a Mr. Robot share or a Simulation Craft XML. We're just going to import from uh, Pawn String, right? And we paste it, Control V, and accept. And you see how it takes all of those things and puts them in there. Now we're going to go back to um, my other monitor here, and we're going to go to the dungeon one, and we're going to copy and paste that one as well. And go back to WoW, and we're going to create a new spec, and we're going to call this Resto Dungeon. All right? Import from Pawn String, Control V, Accept. And now we have now we have these two different strings, right? So what does that do? What does that actually do? Well, let's take a look at some gear that I have. I just recently got this uh, legendary uh, for uh, my wrists here, right? And uh, we have this other thing here. If I hold down Alt, you can see I can see the other things uh, that I could equip in that spot. You see how this one has crit haste, and you see now uh, just on the near the bottom of the main tools up there it says stat score resto raid 1310.58 and so i would lose 372.92 and I, that's a 1.16 percent loss you see how it's red there resto dungeon it's slightly weighted differently because there is no uh mastery and so yeah you, you can see how it would change no you i could also hover over here you can see there um, how about this one? That would be a 4% loss going down to a 720. That's my old, uh, <coughs> my old raid gear there. So, like, uh, let's see, we have this 830, these 830 legs. You can see, um, if I were to upgrade them to 840 using the, the, the upgrade stuff, stat weight score allows you to see what it would be if you were to upgrade with, like, Obliterum, for example. Uh, I think I do have something that's upgraded with Obliterum here, like the neck piece, maybe? I've already upgraded it. Never mind. And so, you, the, the, the cool thing about this is, like, you can go into your dungeon journal. Oops. Yeah, dungeon journal, dungeons. You can go into our raids. We can go into the Emerald Nightmare, go to uh, the loot for Nythendra, and say, okay, this waste piece right here. Or, well, let's go to, let's make sure it's heroic. There we go. Heroic, and we got these ah stained maggot squishers. These have haste mastery on them. Now you notice how haste crit are the two top two stats for the the raid one. And so you see the uh, the ones I currently have equipped are 850, and these are 865s that I'm hovering over right now. Notice how the 865s are a 0.27 percent upgrade. But if you look down at the bottom, the, the bottom of the right-hand tooltip, you see how I'm losing 208 haste, losing 342 crit, but I'm gaining 606 mastery. If I were to get this, plus I'd be gaining 146 intellect. So because intellect is rated at one, that 146 intellect is a bonus 146 points. In this um, pawn string, the crit is rated at 0.65. So losing 342 crit is 342 times 0.65. That's how many points I'm losing off of the item. It's a rating. It actually rates them based on a coefficient, which is the, you know, the 0.65 is the coefficient that you multiply the, diff the stat differences by. Haste is rated at 0.675. So you take that point, that 208. Um, here, let me uh, show you here. I would go to back to here and uh, just looking at that um, I get you know, 342 right times 0.65 
So that's 222.3 points that I'm losing. And you add that to the 208 haste times 0.675. Right? So there's another 140 points. But it's overcome by the 606 points in mastery that are rated at 0.5. Right? And the 146 intellect points that are rated at 1. So there's 449 points there. Right? And so the net sum, or the, the net total bonus that I have from these, as you can see in the tooltip, is 86.3 points. So it is an upgrade, right? It's an upgrade because uh, the, I, I'm getting uh, more power overall from all of the stats uh, combined than I had before. And so stat weight, you know, like there's people out there that say, well, I have to have haste. I have to have crit. Those are my top two stats. Yeah, but if the power, if the item level is high enough and you're using your second and third stats instead, like this one is, or it's using your first and third rather than the first and second, and you see how haste is like the uh, secondary secondary stat. It's the second secondary stat. You have 606 and 429. You see, mastery is greater than haste by quite a you know large uh, uh, number there. But on the 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 item that I have, haste is much greater, almost double the amount of crit. Haste is my number one stat. So, going from a, a an item where I have my number one and number two stats in the proper order, with the number one stat being the higher number and the number two stat being the sec uh, the lower number. I am still getting an upgrade by going from that to a, a, an item where my number three stat is the higher number and my number one stat is the lower number because it's a 15 item level upgrade. The item levels matter. And see, uh, what a lot of people don't understand uh, as well on this is that it's a stat budget. So like if we were to um, if we were to go back to this and say, okay, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. that 850 piece has 973 intellect, right? Plus uh, 637 haste and 342 crit. That whole item has a stat budget of 1952. Now we can also add the stamina in there, 1459. So, okay, 3411. Let's just remember 3411. And uh, so uh, this other item has 1119 intellect, 1678 haste, 606 mastery, and 429 uh, haste. So 3832. Uh, so minus the 3411 that we had, we have 421 more total stats to play with. And out of those 421 uh, total stats, we get an extra 86 points of power based on these stat weights, right? So, you know, to, to put it bluntly, 606 mastery, gaining 606 mastery is, uh, gives you more power, or, I'm uh, sorry, gaining 606 mastery and 146 intellect, those two stats combined with their stat weights gives you more power than what you lost from the 208 haste and the 342 crit. So that's why it's important, and it's it, you're actually upgrading your power, your overall power. You're just changing and shifting the numbers around so that, okay, maybe you don't have as much haste, so you're not firing off things as fast, and your, your hots aren't ticking as fast. But um, they're, they're ticking for more because the math, you know, especially uh, you know, when you have multiply or you have multiple hots going on. So, you know, the more mastery you stack in a raid, you're going to be, you know, more powerful when you you know have multiple hots going on, especially with like efflorescence and having your um, spring blossoms, for example. And you see how the stat weight for this one, because mastery is more valuable in five mans, that resto dungeon one shows a gain of 209, uh, 240 points, damn near. Uh, just round, it's a rounding error there. It's 240 points, and you get 0.71% upgrade from this. Right now, that's not where it ends. We can also uh, Go to, uh, here, let me see. Go back to here. Balance Druid stat weights, right? We have an Icy Veins thing, uh, but I want I want to find a Pawn String, 
right here. Here we go. This one looks like it's got one. So uh, they want to set up a pawn with manual stat weights uh, this way, and you can do that. Total, you know, somebody could. Uh, this one's the the one that this other guy suggested. We're just going to use that. We could sim it, whatever, and uh, you know, find our own. And this is what they do every time there's a patch, every time there's a change, every time there's a you know uh, some sort of um, nerf or buff to a to a class. People will use a, a simulation craft, and they run like 10,000 simulations uh, with all these different stats. Uh, they'll take 100 stats, and they'll change it from one, you know, like crit to mastery. And then they'll run 1,000 simulations and see what the DPS is. And then they'll change it from mastery to versatility. They'll run 1,000 simulations and see what the DPS is. And based on the differences in DPS, for it, where you're subtracting 100 from one but you know column and putting 100 in another... You know, you have a net total of difference of 200, and they do all this math. It's very mathy, and it's all it's all like automated now with uh, simulation craft. They find out these weights, they figure them out based on these you know thousands upon thousands of simulations. And so we're just going to use this as a quick and dirty um, pawn string for balance, right? And we go back into WoW, and we go. Now, you can quickly get to it, SWS space weights, right? And we're going to create a new spec. We're going to call it uh, balance, right? Going to go to the pawn string there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me recopy. I accidentally copied the title of the thing. There we go. Except now we have a balance one, right? Hit OK. So now let's say we're in a dungeon and something drops and we're like, Huh, that's not an upgrade for um, for Resto, but it's an upgrade for my balance. Like this one here, that is not an upgrade for my Resto dungeon set, but it's a nice upgrade for my balance set. So now, now I know that I can you know roll off spec on that, right? Let's find something that fits the bill. Very few of them won't because you'll notice in that stat way it was crit was 0.9, haste is 1.1. You know, mastery is 0.7, versatility is 0.8, so it's like you know, haste and crit were both you know similarly weighted. So you can see how so you know all of these now should have all three of those stat weights. But wait, there's more. I'm not going to switch to my other monitor. Uh, let me see. Uh, bear, druid, stat, weights, and we can find a pawn string. going to do Google for the pawn string here. And we can add another spec for bear tanking. Right? And we can find I just found one. I don't even know if it's valid or not. And this is one thing you're going to want to do. You're going to want to make, want to make sure it's valid. And you see, like, okay, agility. Armor is 40 points. That's huge, right? Armor is awesome. But I don't think they use armor much anymore on, on things. But uh, usually item level upgrades are the best because, you know, they just give you more armor anyway. So now we can look at things like this and say, okay, for bear tanking, this is a 0.54% upgrade. You know, from what I got, it's a 10 item level upgrade, right? But you can see that it tells you how much of a percentage upgrade it is. And you can you notice how the bear tanking one, because it's using, uh, like, stamina was 3.34 and crit rating was 1.99, uh, you know, it's all scaled. As long as it's using the same scaling, then it works. Uh, but, you know, you'll notice it's 18,635. But it's, you know, it's comparing 18,635 to 17,814. It's do as long as it's using the same stat weights for both items, it's still they're just relative to each other. So you don't have to worry about it. You could add a zero to every single one of these stat weights, and it would just you know make everything ten times bigger. And but the the relative values, the valuation of each item relative to each other, would remain the same. 
because math, you know, proportions. So, as you can see, this is a very, very powerful tool. And this is why I don't understand people who, you know, they just, they tell me that it's an upgrade, but they don't really know. They think it is. It's like, no, you should be able to tell right away that it's an upgrade just by looking at this. And for the purposes of this guild, when you're talking about, like, I'm going to roll need on something versus rolling greed, um, you know, I'm not sure if it's an upgrade or not, you know, that kind of thing. If it's such a marginal upgrade that stat weight score is showing a green 0.02%, chances are you should probably just give it to somebody else. It's a marginal, minor, you know, upgrade. Uh, so yeah, get the stat weight score uh, add-on, find your own pawn strings, verify that they're valid. You can tweak them all you want if you, you know, like for example, I'm going to tweak this one that I have. Um, for the raid one, uh, I don't like versatility being up there so much. I like Master being a little higher. I'm thinking that Haste is actually 0.75. I really like to fire off a lot of uh, a lot of uh, stuff fast. I like I like coverage in a raid, uh, and I'd rather have that. Mastery, I'm going to put at 0.55, you know, and versatility. I really don't like versatility. I'm going to put that at 0.4, right? So now what? Now that I've changed all that, you can see how like the um, those boots that I was looking at before, it changed the values. Uh, so instead of an 80-something percent, or 80-something point upgrade for the Resto Druid one, it's a 101 points, and it's a little bit bigger of an upgrade, because Mastery is more valuable now. Um, and uh, Haste is more valuable relative to Crit, so you can see how I didn't, or you know how, how it changed the weighting just a little bit to make it a little bit more uh, tweaked to my play style, and that's something you're going to want to do as well. Um, just kind of, if you know yourself well enough and you know what you're doing with this well enough after a while using it, you can uh, modify that stuff a bit and uh, kind of, you know, tweak it. But yeah, you can have one for every spec. You can have one for, you know, like two for the same spec, but, you know, different scenarios. You can have a PvP one, all that stuff. Stat weight score and pawn strings and, um, you know, just simulation craft stuff is super valuable, and I hope this helps, and I'll see you later.